in this demo we will teach you how to upgrade Cisco ASA firewall into the latest iOS so first first things first we have to know why would we need to know this adaptive security appliance of Cisco to better understand Cisco ASA firewalls, it would be best if we visit the website of Cisco.com. You will notice here the Cisco ASS next generation firewalls provides network end-to-end -end network intelligence, web security, intrusion prevention system, secure remote access, and a wide range of features that some of the firewalls out there cannot match. So the product we are trying to configure now is the entry-level Cisco ASA 5505 series. That's, that's just a small platform, but in itself, it's a good starting point. All right, so these are the models. Here we go. So this is the model of our router. The ASA 5505 Security Plus. Well, the thing is, the iOS in this um, router, as you can see in this firewall, is version 8.2. We want the latest version of 9.1. So I'm going to teach you how to upgrade that. So to begin with, we need to configure. Oh, and lastly, Look at the, the iOS license. This only has the base license. It does not have the unlimited um, host. It does not have um, VPN enabled. So we will upgrade that as well. So let's start. First thing is, you just have to normally go to configuration mode. Go to an interface now VLAN 2 is normally used as the private interface so we bring that up give it an IP address security level of zero assigning it the mode most trusted interface okay now we go to one of its um, LAN ports do no shot now we try to ping a server into our network which is this one oops no route all right so since we can ping this interface it must be due to the fact that um we are in a different vlan so i will go to an interface and put that in vlan 2 And now it's pinging. Now to test if our TFTP server is running, I have a um, output interface here. So let's just try this one. Copy, start, TFTP. Or copy, run, TFTP. Specify the address of the TFTP server. So it got the file all right so let's start upgrading first thing you have to do is check the flash for the iOS so this needs to be upgraded as well as this one so we need to delete those 
or better yet, upgrade first, then delete those, okay? So for the next command, we will type copy tftp clash. Specify the name of the server. The source file name, the version 9. Now it's copying. So while we're waiting for that, it will take around a few minutes. So allow me to tell you um, the different models used by different companies. Small to medium sized companies use this model. This is exactly what we're using. Now this one sh um, have been had at the end of life and end of sale date. So I suggest you should not buy them anymore and upgrade instead to the X series, which is a lot better performance. All right, so let us check. Okay, it's done. Now we upgrade the ASDM. Now for the ASDM, this is the file name. Okay, after the files have been copied, we need to teach our ASA about the new iOS. So this command allows this ASS to recognize the new location of its iOS image, as well as the new location of the ASDM file. Now, since we are already upgraded, there's no need to keep this old iOS version, so we might as well delete them. Okay. We got the wrong iOS. So now, this is our system. For the next stop, you will notice that even though our iOS, our, our device has a lot of RAM and a lot of flash, you will notice that it has a base license, which is practically a piece of shit. So we need to upgrade and get all the features of Cisco that uh, that made it number one in the enterprise. So in order to get your license, all you have to do is go to Cisco licensing website and register your product. Now they would need to get your serial number, which you have it over here. Okay. And specify it here now it takes a bit of time for it to, to, to activate so let's just give it a few seconds but I already did my homework in advance so from Cisco website they emailed me an activation key yes an activation key is something that you configure in your ASA firewall much like this 
so that the iOS will have all the features. Now I will now, oops, that's not right. That should have not happened. The command to enter the activation key is just activation key specifying the activation key given. You press enter. It will validate it if it's either a legal or an illegal product license. So this is the licensing wizard I was telling you about earlier, which I already did in advance. So that is why I was able to have a new unrestricted full feature iOS. All right, so you will notice that it's been upgraded. Now to tell you what happened, these are the features my system has without the benefit of activation. So let's just show it here. Okay, now upon activation, all of those will be upgraded. So these are the features you need to enable. This one, this one needs to increase VPN, especially the dual ISP ability, as well as the botnet traffic filter. Right? So Team Arrival is committed into giving you the total learning experience. So that is why we make a lot of videos that will help you migrate your network into what it should be, a headache-free environment. Well, noticing upon booting up that it's using the latest iOS. So we'll just play for a few minutes for it to boot up. All right, so here we go again. Notice the big difference. Before, these were the features. Now it's 820 enabled, 8 unlimited active standby, enabled all before it was all disabled. Now we're using the Security Plus license, which is one million times a lot better than the base useless license all right guys so watch out for the next video on how to actually use and deploy an asa firewall okay so remember to visit our website that's um this is our website where you would get valuable information about your career about cisco about networking and all of those stuff so this is our um, website and also visit the website of Cisco or drop by our office thank you and have a nice day